We're gonna test it out on low first. Oh, dang, dude. Low is already faster than high was with a stock battery. Look how good this truck is towing this thing now. I mean, he is moving. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you are already subscribed to us, then you will know that Mason has a Power Wheels truck with a custom built trailer. What you'll also know is that this truck is super slow. and it really just doesn't do the job. But we're gonna fix that problem today. We're gonna put this 20 volt max drill battery inside of the truck to make it go super, super fast using this adapter yeah. right here. But first things first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We have a ton of awesome videos coming up, including one that you're not gonna wanna miss. So go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and do not forget to drop us a comment down below. We also have a video out on this trailer right here. I did custom build this trailer myself, so if you need any guidance on how to build a custom trailer like this, it is legit. It's literally a mini goose. So if you have any questions or anything on that, just drop them down below in the comments. Also, I'll link the video up right above. All right, buddy, are you ready to have a supercharged truck to tow your trailer with? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. First things first, we got to get down in here into the old existing battery. Just, right, so once we've got the seats out, you can obviously see down into the battery compartment here. Gonna go ahead and take this cross member off right here that's holding the battery in place. And just keep in mind, these 12 volt batteries, these are like an additional 10 pounds at least by simply taking out that lead acid battery, the 12 volt that's currently in it, you get rid of about 10 pounds. And we replace it out with this lithium ion battery. That is literally just a couple ounces. And just like that, move all the battery wires to the side and this will come right out. All right guys, so honestly, this is a super easy install. It's really as easy as cutting the red and black positive and negative wire right here, wiring in this inline fuse on the positive side and hooking it back up. Super, super easy. We have to take this one off so we can put this one on. That's exactly right. So with that, I think we're gonna make this an actual turbocharged Cummins. Hopefully it'll be a little more reliable though. What do you think? We are going to use this piece right here. We're gonna keep this existing piece. What you're definitely not gonna be able to do though is charge the battery through the charger that it came with. What you'll basically do is just charge the battery in the drill charger and then take the battery in and out. So the first thing right here is to go ahead and disconnect the cables from the battery. And then the next thing you're gonna to do is prep your wires to get connected. For now, we're just gonna wrap the wires together and use electrical tape until we can make sure that it works the way that it should. And as long as it does that, then we'll probably come back in and crimp the wires. As for now, like I said, we'll just wrap them up. So it's really important that you use a 30 amp inline fuse anytime you're doing this. And you just wanna do that to make sure that if there is too much power going to the motor, it's gonna break it the fuse and not burn your motor up. All right guys, so once you got everything hooked up, you are all good to go. This is a, a really easy thing to do. Red goes to red, you wanna have your inline fuse in between both of your positive leads and have obviously your negative to the negative. And that's pretty much it. This 30 amp fuse is gonna help you in the event that you overload the motor and it's gonna cause a break at the fuse that's easily replaced rather than frying your electronics. So let's go ahead and get the stone back in and see what she's got. Well, we got power. Oh, dude, this thing is gonna be so fast. Hey, Mason. I don't wanna try it with the trailer right off the bat. So we're gonna test it out on low first and we're gonna do some top speed runs. Oh, dang, dude. So low is already faster than high was with a stock battery. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That's definitely it. Oh man. This thing is so much faster. So much faster. What do you think, dude? You like it? Yeah. It's a way faster, huh? Now this one's fast. That one is fast now. Let's try it with your trailer and see what kind of towing you can do. So a lot of kids want fast power wheels so they can drift around and go as fast as they can. Mason wanted a faster power wheeler so he could tow better. All right guys, so we got the trailer. We're gonna bring it down and hook it up. 
We don't need to put the other seat on right now. We're just testing it. All right, so what we're going to do first, because we don't know how much power delivery we're going to get from this thing, especially with this heavy load on here. So you're going to start it in low gear and go for a second before you change it to high, okay? Go ahead. Man, that is so much faster. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's trucking now. That is so much better. So much better. Dang, dude, look how good this truck is towing this thing now. I mean, he is moving. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. That lets YouTube know that you like this content. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and we'll be happy to respond to you. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get the 50,000 by the end of this year, so make sure you subscribe for all of the madness. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next.